Yo, what's up, family? My name is Benjamin J. King, a.k.a. B.K. Listen, ICS has been the place for me to grow. It's been the place for me to succeed. The craziest part is, is that I've gone from 3,000 to 11,000 followers in just two weeks while being in the program. Listen to me, you get tools. <laughs> and you know anything with AO <laughs> is amazing and spectacular. So family, I'm pretty sure you're here off of his credibility, which is the reason I joined. So I'm telling you, you're gonna get so much insight on how to be successful. Literally, you can go out here and impact this world and change your life at the same time. So if I was you, ICS would be my next commitment to my future and to yours. World changer, history maker, world changer, history maker. Woo! We gon' make some history tonight. Yeah. We gon' make some history tonight. Straight up. Straight up. We gon' make some history tonight. Woo! We gon' make some history tonight. Yeah. We be going in all night. Yeah, everything is all alright. Yeah, turn off the switches cause we all all lights. One time for Christ, he changed all our lives. Yeah, he get the praise, yeah, he get the praise, yeah. I am amazed, yeah, came out the maze, yeah. Yeah, I remember when I was so in danger. Christ switched it up, he a world changer. Woo! He didn't change the world and it would never be the same. Oh, no. And he can change you too because there's freedom in his name. Oh, yeah. That's why we walk in faith, that's why we celebrate. Woo. That's why we love his ways, that's why we elevate. Yeah, yeah. World changer, history maker. World changer, history maker. Woo. We gon' make some history tonight. Yeah. We gon' make some history tonight. Straight up. Straight up. We gon' make some history tonight. Woo. We gon' make some history tonight. Believers in the place, we gon' make some history. Yeah. He done changed the world. No, no, that's no mystery. No, no. Ever since he came, yeah, we got that victory. We got it. Now we shining bright, just like we all be glittery. Woo. We get the W if you don't know when me puzzle you. Why would I say if it wasn't true? Yeah. Giving them praise and I love it too. Yeah. I love, I love, I love I it. I love it. Turn it up and run it. Run it. Praise him cause he won he it. Won. Jesus, yeah, he done it's it. Done. World changer. He's a soul gainer. He was a baby in the manger. Now we keep it major. He rose from the dead, homie. That's a miracle. And we still talk about it. And that was 2,000 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. World changer history maker world changer history maker Woo! we gon make some history tonight yeah. we gon make some history tonight straight up, straight up. we gon make some history tonight Woo! Woo! we gon make some history tonight Yo, what's up, family? My name is Benjamin J. King, a.k.a. B.K. Listen, ICS has been the place for me to grow. It's been the place for me to succeed. The craziest part is, is that I've gone from 3,000 to 11,000 followers in just two weeks while being in the program. Listen to me, you get tools. <laughs> and you know anything with AO <laughs> is amazing and spectacular. 
So family, I'm pretty sure you're here off of his credibility, which is the reason I joined. So I'm telling you, you're gonna get so much insight on how to be successful. Literally, you can go out here and impact this world and change your life at the same time. So if I was you, ICS would be my next commitment to my future and to yours. What's going on, family? What's up? What's up? Let me set this down because I don't need to hear Jay in my ear right now. What's going on? Ha! We are live in the building today. Let me see what we got up in here going right now. We got 120 y'all watching. Hey, yo, let me know. Let me know where are you watching from. Today, we're going to be doing some real good stuff. I'm excited. I'm about to send out a... Um, I'm about to send out a text message to our community, uh, letting them know what we're doing up in here today. I've been feeling good, but let me know, you guys. Let me know where you're tuned in from, uh, where you're watching from. Um, I'm excited about what we're doing today. Um, how many of you all are honestly liking Build Your Table with Anthony O'Neill? Because this, this show is about really you all. It's really about, hey, how can I help you build your table, build your life, take back ownership of your life? And so I'm about to send out a, uh, do this real quick. Hold on. We are live and I am talking about how to get your first 10,000 in a savings account. Come join us. Boom. Yo, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We are live. I'm about to. Um, I am. Ask them check that grammar. I am talking about how to get your first that ten thousand dollars in that savings account. Come join us. I will also be taking your questions. All right. 
live on live on air. Yo, so listen, uh, today's gonna be a good day, man. I'm gonna give you all some good teaching points here. I'm really excited about them. Um, the, uh, it's gonna be how to save your first $10,000 inside of a high yielded savings account, all right? So how do we get our first $10,000 inside of a savings account? This is, I believe, very, very important uh, because if we do not have $10,000 inside of a savings account, uh, then we are in trouble. You know, I was doing some research and I'm always doing research, right? I don't know why I keep saying that, but I was doing some research and what I'm seeing is that the reason why people are falling into debt, the reason why we're having these issues of people falling back into debt is because simply we don't have the proper savings account. And I want you to be honest with me today. I want you to be real honest with me today because we got time, you know, I'm going to talk for about 25 minutes. I'm going to take you calling questions and if you have any questions around, you know, hey, Anthony, what should I invest over here? Or how should I save? Or what can I eliminate? You know, then I definitely, 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 definitely uh, want to make sure uh, that we are helping you on these Wednesdays. But a lot of people are falling back into debt right? They're falling back into debt. They're getting out of debt or they're starting to pay off debt. And then when life hits them, they got to go borrow money again because they haven't really set aside how to get or why they haven't set aside $10,000, $5,000 inside a savings account. And I want to be honest with, be honest with me. I need you to be honest with me. Let me slow down. I get passionate. I get excited and I skip over my words. What, how much, let me, let me ask you this question. How many of you Put me in a comment section right now. Put me in a comment section right now if you have over $5,000 in your savings account. Be honest, don't be ashamed because 60% of American people don't even have over $1,000 in their savings account. But if you have over $5,000 sitting in an emergency fund, put me in a comment section right now. Put me in a comment section right now. Put me. I see we got VA in the building. Austin, Texas is in the building. Chicago is in the building. I'm loving that. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Good to see you. You know, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, me, me, me. I'm seeing a couple of me's. If you do not have over 5,000, just put not yet. We're not going to say I don't. We're going to put not yet. Come on in, Jay. Uh, just, just put not yet. You know, just put, just put not yet. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Terry says, I don't have 5,000, uh, but I got 2,800. Okay. 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 Um, KK says, I don't have 5,000, but I got 4,000. Okay. I see Dallas, Texas in the building. So that's good. So if, if, if you really want to get here, what I'm going to be teaching here these first 30 minutes, is going to be simple. It's going to be real simple, super simple, right? If you follow this, Let's say you already got 5,000, this is gonna get you to 10,000. Let's say you have zero, this is gonna get you to 500 to 1,000. Let's say if you got 1,000, this is gonna get you to 2,000. Let's say you got 10,000, it's gonna get you to 20,000. You know, these are the five things I'm gonna give you today. These are the things that got me to six figures sitting inside of an emergency fund that is not inside of my brick and water checking account, right? This isn't another high yielded savings account, high yielded savings account, that that allowed me to have cushion to where if life happens to Anthony O'Neill, I at least have six figures singing, sitting in an account. That would take me all year because I don't have any debt. I just got my mortgage payment. So I will be good. I don't have to sell nothing. I will be straight. I may got to sell my dog. <laughs> <laughs> but your boy will be good. And I'm going to tell you something right now, y'all. It feels good knowing you got a little bit of money in a savings account. Let's be real, can I be real with you? It feels good knowing that I have money sitting inside of a savings account to where if life happens, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Jay, put me on this, put me on camera too right here. I want, I want them to get, yeah, 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 see my eyes. And let me look at this camera right now because I'm looking at y'all, I'm looking at this camera right here. I want you to see my eyes. You go into your job differently when you know when you know you don't necessarily need them. That when you know you don't absolutely need the next paycheck, you walk differently inside of your job. You talk differently. You have a different uh, uh, a presence 
to yourself because it's like, yo, listen, you're going to respect me. You're going to honor me. I'm going to do my job, but you're not going to treat me any kind of way. You're not going to overlook me. You're not going to use and abuse me. You're going to respect me when you got money sitting inside of your savings account. When you got an extra five grand sitting inside your savings account, and the only thing you got to worry about is your mortgage payment, and that's only twelve fifty, you know that you are straight for another two, three months, and you know you can find another job. You walk differently. But the reason why the majority of us are struggling, the reason why the majority of us are having these issues in life is because we don't have that savings account. And that, to me, that, that to me is why we're here today. So listen, before we get into today's episode and give you the five things, man, I really want to thank uh, my friends over um, at Yellowtail for sponsoring today's show. Yellowtail um, is, is an amazing company uh, that has partnered with us to help you get inside of the tech industry. You know, we have two amazing partners um, and Yellowtail in the tech side of things and Yellowtail is on the opposite side. They're helping you get into the cloud servicing uh, area. And if you really want to get inside of it, if you're saying, Anthony, I hear you about getting to the $10,000. I hear you about getting to, you know, $10,000 inside of my savings account, but I don't have a job that I can even set aside $500 a month. I don't have a job that would even let me set aside $200 a month. Anthony, I make $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $60,000 a year. I'm not making 80, 90, 100, 100 plus a year, but I, I want to. And one thing I love about Yellowtail one thing I love about Yellowtail, keep 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 the banner up, Jay. Um, one thing I love about Yellowtail is that they are going to give you the skills and the wisdom on how to get into tech without knowing any coding. They're going to help you get into the AWS, which is a cloud software business, where it's pretty much business to business, right? So your businesses are calling you to help you, well, not to help you, businesses are calling you to have you help them pretty much manage their software in the cloud. There's no coding needing, needed. You just need to know basic computer skills. Do you know how to type? Do you know how to read? And can you take down notes? Right. And if you are ready to really experience something and really shift in your career, I want to encourage you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash yellow tail. They have a cohort that's opening up here in a couple of weeks. They have amazing payment plans. It's going to be a nine month program within nine months from now. They are not only not only are they just going to teach you, but they're going to put you inside of an apprenticeship program to where you'll make a little bit of money after you go through uh, the cohort, the, the class, then you get on hands training training, a little bit of pay, then after that, they're going to help you get a job. Nearly 80% of their individuals are getting jobs. So you're not paying $100,000, $50,000. You're not even paying $20,000 for this. And you're going to come up making more money than the average college graduate within less time. So you pay less money. You're only in there for nine months. And you can come out making 70, 80, 90 to hundred thousand dollars possibly for a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the time. This is amazing. This, this is why I partnered with, with them. This is why I'm passionate about the tech industry because there's two industries that's creating net worth millionaires. It's the content creation space and the tech industry. So go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash yellowtail. Check them out. It will be a huge blessing. We did a show with them. We'll go ahead and put that in today's show notes as well so you can learn more about who they are. They are black owned and black founded. And I just love what they're doing. I, I really do love, I really do love what they're doing. So let me pull up my notes. How do we, how do we get to 10,000 inside of our savings account? Here's number one. Here's number one. And, and, and I say this often, but this works. And I'm going to keep repeating it until I see my community no longer needs me to repeat it. But we also have new people coming inside of the E3 community. And for those of you all who are saying, what's the E3 community? The E3 community is the people who are subscribed to the channel, subscribed to the podcast. And we all are increasing and expanding in three areas, wellness, abundance, and freedom. We want to increase 
in abundance. We want to have, you know, more than what we need financially, but also we want to make sure that we're well on the inside, that that we're clean and, and that we're whole, and that we're pure and that our mind is well. But then we also want freedom. And so if you want to join this community, it's simple. Just hit the subscribe button. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on podcast, just hit the subscribe button and join this amazing community. We are on a path. We are on a path to having 1 million community members, E3 community members here on YouTube. And then we want a million over there on podcast. And when we hit a million on YouTube, it's simple. We're giving away cars. We're going to give away quality, high-end, used cars. Quality, high-end, used cars. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm so loving it. I really am. Here's number one. How do we get how do we get this? How do we go from zero to ten thousand dollars? It's easy. Number one. Number one. You gotta write your specific goal on paper. And it's so simple. There is nothing deep about this. I'm about to get into the practical things on how, right? On how do we get 10,000? But number one is you can't go around and just think you're gonna remember your goal. You're gonna remember your vision. Man, I got sticky stuff all over my house now. All over my house. Hey, I want X amount of dollars this year for, for, for the company. I wanna be able to pay out X amount of dollars to my team members and staff members. Man, I wanna be able to go on three vacations. Hey, you know, I'm already maxed out on my savings account. Now I wanna max out on my all of my investments. I wanna be able to invest more into real estate, invest more into this. I see my goals in the top three places that I go into my house. That's my bathroom, that's my office, and watch this, believe it or not, that's my golf room. So I have a room where I'm just, you know, I practice my golf swing and I put my goals, my financial goals, my vision on the wall inside of my golf room, inside of my bathroom and inside of my office, because that's where I spend the majority of my time. And I'm thinking about adding it. I just got a smart refrigerator. I'm thinking about adding it to the refrigerator. So when I click on it, I can see my goals. If we can't see what we're aiming for, we're not going to go for it. Because here's what's going to happen mentally. If we don't see that we're trying to get $10,000 inside of our savings account, but we see that new item that we want to buy, if we and we see that new car we want to buy, or we see this we want to buy, our mind is going to react to what we see. And so you need to put down on paper $10,000 inside of our savings account by X date. Now your mind sees it, now it's going for it. So once you write down the goal, once you write down the goal, simple. Here's number two, write this down you guys. I need you to sit down and look at your budget and identify what can you give every single month to get to that $10,000 goal. What, what, what can you give? Okay, when you sit down, okay, the goal is $10,000 a month. Not a month. The goal is $10,000 inside of my savings account. Great. Now let me look at my budget. Let me look at my bank account. Let me pull up the last three bank statements and let me see where has my money been going. Because I can bet you the majority of you all who are watching me right now haven't caught on yet how budgeting is crucial to building wealth. I can tell you how much money I spent last month. I can tell you where my money went last month. I can tell you how much money I spent on my business and where the money went. You know why? Because I budget every single month. I don't play with my money. My money is not gonna tell me what to do. I'm telling it where it's going and, what's, and what it needs to be doing. And so for me, you need to really sit down and look at your budget, if you have one, and look at the last three months and see where did your money go? And are you wasting your money? Why are you spending $500 a month on eating out when you could be cooking at home? Huh? Why? Why? Why do you have, I was just talking to one of my friends last night and um, he was going to send me a, 
his playlist on iTunes. I was like, bro, I don't have iTunes. I, I just got Spotify. He was like, bro, I got Spotify too. He said, like, man, I got iTunes, I got Spotify, I got Pandora, I got Tidal, Tittle, whatever Jay-Z's thing is. I said, yeah, that's the problem. You got too much. I, I mean, the music doesn't change nowhere. So why do you need all four of them? Why, why are you paying for four subscriptions? Man, it's only like five, 10, 20 bucks a month. Okay. Yeah, do the math. You're paying 10, 15 bucks for Spotify, 10, 15 bucks for Apple Music, 10, 15 bucks for this, 10, 15 bucks for that. That's $100 a month in music that you really only really listen to iTunes. Why are you wasting $75? You a baller like that? I make good money. I'm still not playing around and wasting $75 a month. You know why? Because that can go towards my savings if I had a goal of 10,000. So you really need to sit back and identify, okay, where can I cut back on? Like, why do I need Hulu and Netflix? I can understand that there's certain seasons that Hulu has certain shows and Netflix doesn't have. Cool, great. Watch it during that season, then turn it off. Make sense? So identify how much money you can put inside of your savings account and stick to that number every single month. And so when you start putting this money inside of a savings account, here we go, here we go, here we go. You gotta be strategic on how you're doing this and where you're parking your money. So if you're gonna put in $100 a month to go towards your $10,000 goal, let me help you get there a little bit quicker. Instead of you putting it inside of a regular bank account that's giving you 0.43%, why not put it into a high yielded savings account that's giving you 4.60%? So now you'll be able to hit your goal quicker because now you have compound interest on your side as a friend helping you get there quicker. And here's the secret that a lot of people do not know. They pay you every month. Yes, the, the percentage is 4.60 APY, annual percentage for the year, right? But you get the money monthly. So you'll see an extra $20, $30, $100, depending on how much you got in there a month, that's helping you get to the goal. So if you get $100 extra this month uh, in interest, and let's say you only got $5,000 in there. Now you got $5,100, you put your money in there, that $5,100 plus your money is gonna get com compounded and it's gonna get more money on top of it. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we, just, we don't wanna just sit our money inside of a regular checking account, a regular savings account that's giving us no interest. No, why not take this money that we're not gonna use, we're not gonna use this for a date, we're not gonna use this for our hair, we're not gonna use this to impress people, we're not gonna use this to go buy the latest iPhone, we're not gonna use this to go out to dinner, we're not gonna use this just because we wanna go get a piece of gum. No, we're only putting this money inside of an emergency fund simply for emergency. So this can sit in a high yielded savings account that is not your regular checking account because you're not going to need it this month. And I pray that you don't need it anytime soon, but I want you to get the compound interest that helps you get to your goal quicker. It helps you get to your goal quicker. So all you gotta do, if you're looking for a good high yield savings account, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash SoFi. What I love about SoFi is that they're gonna give you an extra $25 uh, to go um, into their to go into you know their uh, their checking account, and I'm telling you right now, it's absolutely not checking account into your savings account. So if you put fifty dollars in there, you're going to activate that high yielded savings account. They're going to give you an extra twenty-five dollars just for opening up your account. It's FDIC insured, and it keeps up with the inflation. So we're averaging about 3% a year. So you're getting 4.60% over there. So this means you'll be able to beat, keep up and beat the inflation with your money sitting in a high yielded savings account. Now, I wanna say this, a high yielded savings account is not an investment strategy. It's just, hey, while my money is sitting here waiting for something to happen, I want my money to grow with the interest rate as well. I want it to go with the inflation as well. Investment strategy is something totally different and I have several shows on how you should invest. Go check those out. 
But saving, why not go ahead and get a good high yielded savings account? Why not? So we'll put them in a show description today as well. Here's number four, because I think a lot of you all watching, a lot of you all listening, you can get to 10,000. I think the problem of why you, you may get closer, then you'll come back, then you'll get closer, and then you'll come back, is because you're wasting your money on last minute items. Why did you wait two weeks to go buy that flight? Why did you wait one week or a day later uh, to, to decide to buy this thing that's not inside of your budget for the month? Why? We, we, we got to stop buying last minute items and deciding last minute things. Why? We have to. We have to stop adding these things. And let me be honest with you, because I'm trying to make sure that I'm done within 30 minutes so y'all can call in. And if you want to call in, you can go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. You can call in and ask any of your money questions that you may have. You all know me, I'm gonna be, be kind, I'm gonna be gentle, but I'm gonna be honest. And um, remember when you call in, you have to call in with your, your camera on so that way I can see your face and I see who I'm talking to. But I have like so much love and grace for people. But if you don't have your camera on, I'm gonna think that you're a troll and we're not gonna allow you on because we don't want any trolls on here. We, we really want to help. We really want to help people um, really win, if that makes sense. And this is about building your table. So anything that you, any questions that you may have, any questions that you may have, uh, give me a call. We'll have a real conversation. AnthonyO'Neal.com forward slash call AO. You can start calling in now to get in line. Um, and we will we'll, we will open up the phone lines now to where you can go ahead and get in line. Uh, but just make sure that your camera is on. Millionaires are not becoming millionaires because they're making so much money. Millionaires are becoming millionaires because they set back and they've learned the strategy on how to invest, how to save, and where to park their money. And it's not just where and how, right? But it's also about what are they doing with the funds that they do have? Some of you right now are saying, Anthony, this is some great stuff, but I don't even make enough money. Well, if, I agree with you. If you don't make enough money, then darling, what you gotta do is you gotta get connected with a company not like Yellowtail. You have to. You, you gotta get connected with a company like Yellowtail that will bring you in, that will give you the skills and, and the tools and the wisdom and the knowledge necessarily to get into uh, the tech space. You can work from, from home and you can work less. Let me say it one more time. You can work from home and work less hours. You do not have to pay full cost tuition. You're not gonna be drowning in student loan debt. You can go to your kids' basketball games, soccer games, football games. You can take your kids on vacation. You can work on vacation and make more money than, a, than the Hebrew slaves out here who are working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Nope, 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 nope. So number one, we gotta get the income right. Once we get the income right, I, I can't stress this enough. I think oftentimes we look for, what's the secret? What do I gotta do? How do I flip my money? How do I get $10,000 overnight or get $10,000 in a week or get $10,000 in a month? No, darling, I'm sorry. The number one thing that you have to do is you gotta start up here first. Because what starts from here goes to our heart. Once it comes from our heart, it comes out.
And if we say, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to put $10,000 inside my savings account, your body should start feeling excited and focused and determined, okay, it's time to get this money. And then now that your body, your mind, I mean, your mind and your body, your mind and your heart is on one page, it just naturally comes out of you that now you're doing the things, but you, your mind responds to what it sees. And if you don't show your mind on a daily basis that I am making, I am going to put $10,000 inside of the savings account, mind's not gonna see it. Your mind is not going to see it. This is why I remind myself all the time, hey, listen, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. My company will make $10 million. That's my number, 10 million. I don't, I don't need a company that makes $20 million a year. I don't, I don't care for that. That's more stress, that's more team members, that's more, no, I just wanna get $10 million a year to where my company's paying out $1.5 million a year in salaries. We're, we're helping so many different people. We're serving so many people. We're traveling around the world. Everyone on my team is making six figures. Everyone on my team is not just making six figures with me, but because they've partnered with me, they're making another six figures on the side, doing what they do. That's the goal that I have written on the paper that I see every single day, three times a day. I'm working on my golf swing, I see, you know what? This is, yeah, okay, okay, all right, okay, yeah. That's the goal. As a matter of fact, I wanna see it right now. Put your goal inside of the chat right now. I'm coming to the people who are calling in. Y'all are calling in already right now, and I love it. I love it. I love it. But I wanna know what's your goal? Is it 10,000? Is it 5,000? Put it in the chat section right now. My goal is $30,000 a month with my company. That's a bold goal, but I believe that God can get you there. If he got me there, he can get you there. Michelle, can you do me a favor? Can you go get my backpack out of the green room, please, and bring it to me? 10 million, yes. My goal is to get out of debt first. I love it. Let me see your goals. That's the problem. Y'all don't want to write your goals down, but you want to make all this money. Write it down, my brother. Write it down, my sister. Save 30,000, 20,000 by the summer. Chris, is that you wanna make 20,000? Or Chris, is that you wanna save $20,000 by the summer? This is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Say hello to the people, Michelle. Come say hello to the people. Y'all no, no, see her? There you go, what up? We gotta get to the point where we are used to writing down our goals. Getting my pen out so I can get ready for my brothers and sisters who are calling in. Michelle gonna make a hundred thousand. Why? Cause she worked hard and I'm praying that God positions the company to do that. Jay's gonna make a hundred thousand. Why? Because he's working hard and I'm praying that God will position the company to do that. And I see it every day. I see it. So listen, I'm about to I'm about to spend an hour answering, taking your phone calls, and positioning. Positioning yourself. This is about building your table. This is about building your table. This episode, this what we're doing here on Wednesdays is the opportunity to help you build your table to get specific thoughts, wisdom, knowledge, guidance about your life, about your table, about your situation. All right? And so, and so I am not at a point to where I know everything. I'm gonna be real with you. 
I haven't been in this game for 35 years like Dave Ramsey. I'm going to be honest with you. So I don't know everything, and if I don't know it, I'm going to tell you. I don't know. But we'll do some Googling. We'll do some research together, and we'll figure this thing out together. But I know a lot, and I want to help you get there. Y'all talking about, I want to save 20000 I got 20000 saved. I want to make $30,000 a month. I'm making way more than $30,000 a month. And let me say this, too. Don't be scared to call in, you guys. Because I believe that if, if you're not comfortable asking the question, then you're never going to get to where you want to get to. And I want to help you get there. And so listen, when you call in, please make sure that your, your, your face is centered to your camera so that way we can see it um, clearly with everybody. Uh, and, and I want to see some brothers call in because some of y'all brothers, man, y'all scared. Who, who's right here? This is a brother right here. That's Sean. That's what I'm talking about. See, we, see you know, I like starting with my brothers because we got so many ladies chasing the money and, and trying to do right. Then I'd be like, yo, where are the brothers at? Like, where are my brothers at? But we got Sean going first. So I, I love this right here. Let's let's bring Sean up. Um, uh, yeah, you can come take that to my back real quick. All right, cool. Uh, go ahead and bring Sean on in, and we can make that work. Uh, Sean, what's up, man? What's, what's going, going on, bro? Man, oh, man, unfortunately, that link is not working no more. Okay, we had to figure that out. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, Sean? What's up with you? Man, I'm trying to make it happen, man. How are you, Doc? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh-oh, we losing you. We losing you, Sean. Yeah, we losing you. You know, we 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 lost you. Bring another person in. There we go. Siobhan, Siobhan is coming in. When Sean calls back in, bring him up next. We gotta get brothers on here. Siobhan, how you spell your name, Siobhan? Um, C A H E V O N. There it is. Okay. All right. Siobhan, what's going on, my sister? How can I help you today? Nothing much. much. How, How you doing? doing? Man, I'm trying to make it. You know, it's, it's a beautiful Wednesday out here and trying to have some fun. Where are you calling in from? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm from, from, uh, I'm calling from, from Durham, Durham, North Carolina. Durham, North Carolina. Bull City. Duh. Yeah, yeah. I was just there uh, a couple of months ago at Word Overcoming Church. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Church, church. Oh, okay, okay. What church you go to now out there? New, New Hope, Hope church. church. Oh, New Hope. I know all about New Hope. Beautiful church. Yeah. Beautiful church. Beautiful church. Okay. All right. Very diverse. Very, very. And that's important, yeah. right? Um, so, Siobhan, tell me this. Uh, give me the basic information about you so I can, you know, know the basics. How old are you? I'm 37. 37, looking like you're 25. All right. <laughs> I'll be 38. There you go. All right. 37. You live in Durham. What's your average uh, income a year? Um, right, right now, now gross sixty-five. Okay, 000. sixty-five. I do. I do, um, I do, I do officiate, officiate basketball, basketball on the side, side so, so that's an extra couple thousand, thousand maybe, maybe like eight thousand extra. Okay, so you're bringing about maybe seventy, seventy-two thousand dollars a year with yeah, that yeah. extra income. All right, cool. Seventy-two thousand. All right, cool. All right, what's your question? Now, since I got the basics about you, what's the question? So, so I, I do. Um, um, I do, I do have, have over ten thousand in savings, 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 but. but because I've, I've watched, watched a couple, couple videos, videos of um, you previously. I know you, you preach, preach be debt free. free. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Um, I, don't I don't have credit, credit card debt because listening to Dave, Dave Ramsey, Ramsey, I did his, his you know, snowball effects. So I, don't I don't have any credit, credit card debt. debt. I, I pay my car off in like two, two years, years or so. Okay. Um, I, just I just have student loan debt, unfortunately. That's about probably 66000 How much again? That was from my about, about 66,000. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, getting my master's, yeah. Okay, student loans. All right, cool, so we got 66,000 in student loans. That's all? That's it, right? No, yeah, other, yeah. no other consumer debt. You got a mortgage? No, 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 no pay, pay rent. Rent. I'm okay. rent. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, when's the last time you made a payment on your student loans? Um, last, last month. month. So, so I do do, do, do the, the standard, standard payment, payment. Okay. I just, I just want it, like, like I hate, I hate it. it. So I want it paid off. Like. All right. Um, how much is your standard payment a month right now? Um, 
Um, about about seven eighty six. Seven hundred and eighty six dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. And you're making about seventy two thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's about six grand a month gross. You're probably seeing what about forty two hundred of that net. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more. Or no, no, yeah, yeah, but, but probably, probably like, like that much. much. Okay, all right, cool. How much is your rent right now, if you mind me asking? Um, I pay because I, I have a roommate, roommate so, so four, like, like 14, 14, a little over 1400 a month. Okay. All right, so we got $1,400 a month. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. And then any other mandatory expenses that you have to pay out, like any kids or anything like that? Shibon? No, no. Okay. No, no kids. kids. All right, cool. So, um... Let me make sure I'm answering your question. What's the question that you're at that you came on to ask? So what, like, like, I, I know, I know yes, yes, I need, I need to save. save. I have an emergency, emergency savings, savings um, but, but I guess, I guess my, my thing is, is I have that student, student loan, loan debt, so, so I feel, feel like, like I can't, can't really start, start saving, saving, saving really because really I have, have that debt. debt. Mm-hmm. But, but I know I would, I would have, have to, to probably have a job that pays more. I would have to have a job that pays more, God willing. I'll, I'll get, get a promotion, promotion by the end, end of the month because that's, that's when the, the review is. is. So, so hopefully that's, that's like an extra, extra maybe, maybe 20000 add it. But I, I guess, guess um, as, as far as, as the savings, um, I do I have, have 401k with my, my job, job, but I want, I want to know if, if I should stop, stop like, like add into that. that. Like, like, just, I don't know if they'll let us do zero. But, but if, if I, I should stop, stop investing, investing in that, that and just, just focus, focus on, on like, like the student loan, I, I, I know I, know I can, can add extra each month. month. Mm. I want to pay, pay it off quicker, quicker than, than that 20, 10 year. year. So God, so God I will. That's the goal. goal. But, um, All right, cool. This is a good. Uh, this is a good question. Watch this. I'm looking. Oh shoot! I think I might have broke it, Jay. That's all good. Um, uh, I'm about to show you on my camera here, on my computer here, uh, something. Hold on a minute. Let me uh, do this. Hold on, new window. Let's do this first. Um, all right, so I'm about to walk you through. I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com, right? And when, when you get a moment, I want everyone to go to anthonyoneal.com. Well, when, when you get a moment. And there's a new resource, that I, not a re, new resource, but there's a new tool that I have on my, um, that I have on my, uh, what's the word? On my website, uh, that allows you to calculate your, that allows you to calculate your debt, right? And for me, I want you to play around with that tool because here's my thing, how much, how much are you um, investing into your 401k right now? I think, well, it used, well, our company, I don't think they, they'll match up to 4% now. It used to be 6 Okay. So, so they're only matching like, up to 4 now? Yeah, 4 now. I think it's 50% for the other 2%. So okay. I dropped it down. I was like, I'm dropping it down to 1 if I could, but I think it bumped it up to 2 still. It's probably like last time I checked last month, maybe 30-some thousand in there, but I don't okay. remember. Cool. Yeah. So here's what I, there's two options that I would recommend. Um, if you really want to get aggressive with it, then I would stop at, I would stop altogether, right? Okay. I would stop investing because you already have 30 grand in there. Let that 30 grand sit. That's going to be great. It's going to grow on compound interest. Um, and you could take that out and start investing that money all the way inside of, you know, your funds. The other option is you can go ahead and keep the 2% in there because I mean, if it's a matching, that's just free money that you're making. And so I do know that my friend and my mentor, Dave Ramsey, does not believe in that. And I respect that because I, I agree with his method of stop investing and going. But I do believe that, that there is a power of getting that free money. But I wouldn't go above 2 or 3%. I'm just being honest with you. I wouldn't do that. If I'm in your shoes and you're saying, hey, I'm ready to get out of debt, this is what I would do. I would stop investing, number one, inside of my 401k. Number two, I'm going to take $5,000 from my savings account and put that on top of the $66,000 uh, 
um, that you have. All right. So that brings you down now to five thousand. That brings you down to sixty one thousand. So now that we're at sixty one thousand dollars. Right. If I'm you, I'm trying to figure out a way of how I can put a thousand dollars a month into that bare minimum. Bare minimum, I'm looking at how do I, how can I put a thousand dollars into the sixty-one thousand dollars? So now, if we divide that into one thousand dollars, that's sixty-one. Divide that into what's that? Twelve. It'll take you five years. But if I'm you, I'm getting very aggressive. Right. And that's going to save you money because you said originally it would take you 10 years. Now you just cut it in half by going to a thousand dollars a month. You're already at seven hundred. So it's like for me, I would go up to a thousand dollars a month. You're knocking off. And to really, really, really do the math, I would I would I would literally, literally look into that. Now, I can't do it now. And I'm going to pull it up when you get off the screen. I'm going to pull it up so 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 that people can see it because you got to have a full screen so people can see my math here. Uh, but um, I, I would I would go to my website and play around with the math and say, you know what, how much extra can I put towards this? And then this calculator is going to show you how quickly you could be out of debt. And so that's what I would recommend. I'm not a fan of just sitting and paying the bare minimum to student loans because we all know that the paying the bare minimum, we're never going to get out of debt. It's never going to go away. The interest, the interest is going to keep hitting it and it's going to keep going up. So if I'm you, yes, making $72,000 a year in Durham, North Carolina is honestly not bad. You're, you're not you're not in a lower middle class, right? You're you're right there in middle class. You're doing exactly what the average person is making in that area. Now, it all depends. If you want to look into different areas and how you can make some more money, I would look into that. Like the company, like I said, like Yellowtail, you can get to the AWS, work from home, make about 80 grand base plus commission, um, and you can get into that within nine months and be, your whole life could be changing, make an extra $20,000 a year just from doing that. Uh, but here's here's one thing too I wanna leave with as well with Siobhan. I think what I'm sensing from you is you are eventually gonna be making more money. Here's what I wanna encourage you. When you do get more money in, when you do tra transition into a different job or, a diff or into a different career field, I want you to continue living like you're living today. And any extra money that you get goes towards your student loans. I would love to see you by the time you're 37, yeah, by the time you're 40, you're 100% debt free. You are debt free, married, got your own place. Working on your own situation and debt is not a problem. <laughs> yeah. And I promise you, you can do that, but you're going to have to get aggressive with that. Make sense? Yes. So I will take 5,000 out of your, your, your emergency fund. Here's why I'm saying only take five because I want you to have at least one month of salary. So that way, if something does happen, you know, you have one month to live the life that you're living right now. You don't have to change nothing because you got one month. But if you want to go down to the bare minimum, then you can you can stretch that now to two months to where I'm only going to just pay my mandatory expenses. And I think that's perfectly fine. But if I'm you, I am going to make sure that I have at least five thousand. Because you say you make about six thousand a month after net. You're probably seeing about four to forty two hundred dollars. Um, so I would keep bare minimum four to five grand in there and take the others and put that towards your student loans. And then instead of for paying seven hundred dollars a month, I'm going to pay a thousand dollars a month to go towards your student loans. Sounds and good. I can do that because yes, I know I need a budget better because I do have all those subscriptions. See? <laughs> like, Hulu, See? Disney Plus, ESPN, all Why? of it. Why you got all that stuff? I don't. Cause family, like my family. dad, I'm like yeah, I'll just yeah. No, Shabbat, forget your family. <laughs> your yeah. family ain't helping you pay them student loans. You know what no, I'm saying? I mean, I'm pretty sure they love you and they'll help you if you yeah. really needed the help. But we got to, man, forget family right now. Yeah. We need. Wait, I know I'm gonna cut back on it. Well, I think. Some of them I may get free because of Verizon. Like yes, the, um, see, tap have. into that. But and yeah. Verizon, man, I'm listen. Verizon's bill is expensive. Let me I tell y'all right now. I'm about to cut Verizon myself. It is. I'm about to go somewhere else. And when I go somewhere else, I'm gonna let y'all know where I'm going because I'm like, wait a minute. If they're using the same tower as Verizon, 
and it's only $30 a month compared to 120 Why am I paying this kind of money? Like, right. we got to understand, man, I was with a multimillionaire. When I say he, like his company pays him seven figures a year. My company doesn't pay me seven figures a year yet, right? And I, I was looking at him, I said, man, what kind of phone is that? And he told me the provider, I was like, you're going with a knockoff provider? He was like, you haven't had no problem. Did you see any difference with my cell phone? I was like, I sure didn't. He said, because we use the same towers. I'm just paying less money and I'm taking that money and I'm multiplying that money while you're wasting it because you like to say I'm with Verizon. Hey, yes, I'm with, I'm with the, uh, he's with the cable company. The Cox cable company is paying $35 a month. I said, okay. So I'm doing research right now to see what I can do. I oh, really, no, I, I definitely can save and put that towards student loan because I paid my car off. I had like a five year plan, but then I um, loaned, but I paid it off in two years, like a little over two years because I kept go. putting extra money because I said I wanted to pay it off in three years. But, there yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got the plan. You got the plan. And it just sounds like you can go up three hundred dollars to pay off this stuff quicker. But then it sounds like you can even go above a thousand because you have other stuff inside of your budget that yeah. you know you can cut that can go towards that. And I promise you, Siobhan, you are going to thank yourself that you did that. And my thing is, one of my boys, they were on my show yesterday. I think we're airing this show here next couple of weeks. He said, man, short term pain for long term success. Yo, you can get your your subscriptions back when you're debt free, because now you're going to have twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars back in your pocket in the next three years. Or you can keep this up, and you're gonna spend a you're gonna spend a thousand dollars for the next ten, for the next five, or seven hundred for the next ten. Which one do you want? Short term pain, have it done in two to three Short -term years. Short term pain. You know what I'm saying? Or do you want long term pain? <laughs> and you're like, what in the world? So uh, that's what I would highly suggest. You know, I, I appreciate. Okay. You. Yeah, I appreciate you for all the advice. Yeah. No, keep. So I, and I did sign up for Yellow um, Tail. So there you I go. I have a call tomorrow. You yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. When did you sign? You signed up today. Or you signed up uh, today. See, look, up look, today. look at you. Go ahead and get that information. <laughs> you know. And one thing I like about Yellowtail, and and I'm glad that you signed up, is that I think their program is right around like sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars. They do have payment plans, um, and I think what I love about them is is that this is not just a course. It's like no, you're you're going to get an instructor. You're going to get uh, all the information you need. And I just love it because it's also black owned. And so yeah, they, they are just awesome. solid and their job rate is good. It is when you finish the program completely, they even guarantee you that if you do everything that they say, you go through the apprenticeship, you do your resume like this, you do this. If you don't get a job, they give you back your money. They can't give you back your time, but they give you back your yeah. money. That's can't be that. You yeah. can't. What college or university is offering you that? None. <laughs> Yo, go to work, sis. Get that right, interview tomorrow. You. I promise you. I love you. Okay, love you too. Love you too. You know what I'm saying? Now listen, <laughs> this is why I love Yellowtail. Because I, I just really remember this. Where can you go to school? Harvard. You give them $400,000 for an education, and they not guaranteeing you a job. If you don't get a job within a year of graduating from Harvard, they're saying, hey, at least you got the Harvard experience, son. Yellowtail is saying, no, we're going to put our money behind what we say. And if we don't get you inside of the tech industry and in AWS software industry, we will give you back your money. What? As long as you do everything that we say. I see that we got Sean. Bring him up next, but I want to. I want people to see this. Go over to my uh, computer uh, real quick. Um, this is why this is important, you guys. Listen, I want to show y'all this. All right, what type of debt is it? Student loans, right? Come over here to anthonyneal.com. Interest rate to say six point eight percent. That's it. Her balance is sixty one thousand. Minimum payment is seven hundred and fifty, right? All right, are we going to add, we can't add that there, but monthly household income, we can put $6,000. Additional contributions made monthly, she says she can make an extra $350. Calculated. Total debt is 61,000. 
breakdown here is that your total debt free debt, she will be debt free in 2029 if she does that. Actually, wait, this is more. So she was 7,000. Yeah, I put it in the wrong. It was $7,000 for income debt. Okay, cool, great. All right. Um, so it's still the same day because she could do that. All right. So now let's say for an example, she says, all right, I'm paying $733 monthly. But let's just say she can go up to and pay an extra $500 a month. Goes down to February 2029. All right. Now let's just say she can do an extra $1,000. Wait, wait, wait. If you would like to add a minimum of crime payment, please. Okay, cool, great. I was, I was about to say this this math ain't mathing. Um, you got a minimum payment seven thirty three. So let's say right right now she could do seven thirty three plus another let's say another five hundred dollars. Let's say total fifteen hundred dollars a month. If she can figure it out, she goes down to three years. Siobhan, I hope you see this. If you can make a total payment of fifteen hundred dollars a month, you could be debt free by September twenty twenty six. And it's only 31% of her income. Her mortgage payment is cheap. Her mortgage payment is going to be, I mean, in our mortgage payment, her rent payment is super affordable, $1,400. She doesn't have anything else. So she could be aggressive for the next two years and be debt free. Y'all need to go to anthonyoneal.com. So if you go to anthonyoneal.com, go down to, um, if you come up here to my website, Go down to the debt calculator, get out of debt, hit the debt calculator. You'll be able to type in all your debt. You can add additional debt. As you can see here, you can add more. You know, you can come down here, add in your monthly income. Um, and then remember down here, add in all of it. So if your minimum payment is 500 and you can make an extra $500, put a thousand dollars there. All right, not just 500 because the map doesn't add automatically to uh, add this in. So it's super, 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 super easy uh, to do that. Thank you so much, Jay, for bringing that computer over there. Uh, but I, I am super, super excited about this, uh, this new calculator that we have on my website, anthonyoneal.com forward slash, um, uh, actually not forward slash, just go to anthonyoneal.com and you will, you will definitely get that. I think we got my boy Sean back, man. Sean, you, you here, bro? Sean. Sean. Oh. Yo, you got you can hear me? I can hear you, baby. We have a real bad echo, bro. Can you um I think it looks like I can hear me talking on your computer back in 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 here. Um use your other device other if you have device. Like Yeah, we're going to pull him. We're going to pull him. Go to the next person. I'm sorry, Sean. We got to get you, brother. We got to get you, man. As soon as you can come back, bro, let me know, man. I would love to. Love to get you in. Love to. Uh, love, love to get you in. Love to get you in. Jasmine, my producer, is saying you are next coming up, but can you center yourself in a camera? I don't know if she could center herself in the camera. Can she center herself in a camera? My man said, tilt your phone down. There you go, Jazz. I see you. <laughs> how you doing, my sister? Good. How are you? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just trying to make it happen. Awesome. Um, so, well, Jazz, first, go ahead. Let talk me say, too, that I love everything that you're doing. I've been watching you for before you had your own platform. So I just want to give um, my kudos to everything that you've been able to build on your own. Ah, uh, thank you so much. That means a lot. It really does. It really does. Uh, where are you calling in from, Jess? Um, from Maryland. Maryland, you're in my neck of the woods. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. How old are you, Jess? Uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one, young sister. There we go. On average, what are you making a year? Average. I freelance, so let's say like one forty, one fifty. Did you just say you freelance uh, 140, 150? Like you just kind of playing it a little bit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's like, you know, I mean, it ain't a lot. I mean, about maybe 140, 150. I just do my thing from home. I don't clock into no job. <laughs> Dang, Jazz. I thought you was about to say maybe about like 35, 40 grand. You're like, oh, no, I do my thing. What kind of no, freelance? No, 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 no. What kind yeah, of freelance I a, work? 
I do a combination of things. Um, so events and marketing. So if you ever decide you want to do host your own events versus just speaking at them, I'm your girl. Um, okay. But yeah, like uh, large conferences. Um, I do smaller intimate VIP events, um, like brand partnerships and sponsorships. So a little bit of everything. I've been doing it for like 13 years. So I've done kind of every version of it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. What's your question you got for us? Um, okay. So I... I plan to have, I want to have multiple properties, right? I bought my first property last year. I want to move on to the second property. And I feel like I understand the real estate game for the most part, right? But my question is more on like my personal finances. So I know you've bought different properties. I know once you talked about living somewhere like in the hood, but a nice home, and then you moved here, but just like should, just how you told her to like, stop investing and save and put into the the debt would you recommend someone who's trying to move on from their first home on their second home and third home to do the same to like push all their money into investing it that way versus the 401k like how should that be set up that's a good question jazz real good question so Let's let's break down the basics first. I like to make sure we're we're all on the basics, right? So sure. right now you're self-employed, right? So um, you, both I'm self-employed and I, I am I have yeah. a W two two with a company. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Is that W two full time or part time? Um, I guess I would be considered full time with them. Just I have I feel like I qualify for just enough hours. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Great. 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 I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, so, are you? Let me get let me get this straight. You're asking me, would I suggest that you move all of your extra resources, your financial resources, into real estate and investing into real estate over? investing into a 401k a Roth IRA and paying off your debt is, is that what you're saying yes and I have no debt besides my house okay okay this woman said I'm young black successful and debt free okay are you married no unfortunately. uh-oh brothers y'all better go get her <laughs> y'all better go get her um okay all right cool my answer is no uh my answer is no all right and here's why because the real estate game is, is a great wealth building, great, great, great wealth building tool. But there's also a foundation that I want you to continue laying down for yourself. And mm-hmm. so I want you to maximize your 401k. Uh, with you being self-employed, I want you to maximize your SEP accounts, okay, SEP, mm-hmm. right? I want you to maximize your, your HSA accounts, your, your health savings account. And I want you to continue investing into those and building that because that is a guarantee way to a net worth millionaire. Now, listen, as you're maxing that stuff out, Jazz, yes, go invest in the real estate. Absolutely. But do not stop investing into the power of compound interest to go to Mm -hmm. the real estate market because the real estate market can be up and then it can be down. We've seen it. Right. So, but I love real estate. I literally just told my realtor yesterday here on the show, I was like, hey, bro, I, I'm ready to get another house. So it's like, yo, this is my budget. You let me know what you can get. But I didn't say I'm ready to get another house and I'm going to stop investing into the basic things in life. And so right now at 31, young sister, bright sister, clearly bright. You ain't got no debt, just a mortgage. Mm-hmm. I think you would be hurting yourself. You would cry if you do not have money in the stock market. Because right now, how much would you say ballpark figure you probably have invested? Like, honestly. Um, Into the 401ks, IRAs, oh, et cetera. Oh, uh, I might be at 100. Okay, all right, cool. So you're at $100,000 at the age of 31. Let me just do the math on my website. Hold on a minute, I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna do this. I'm coming out here to my Wealth Builder tool. Y'all, this is what I'm telling y'all. Y'all gotta go to the Wealth Builder tool, not the Wealth Builder tool, but to the anthonyoneal.com website. Okay, so Jazz is 31. Jazz can legally retire and pull for her retirements at 67 because she's in my my age bracket, all right? So let's just say right now, Jazz has $100,000 inside of her investments. She gets an average 10% return. Jazz, how much could you co- comfortably, how much are you, contributing into your investments right now a month. Very comfortable. Mm-hmm. 
Just give me a ballpark. It doesn't have to be exact. Just like, okay, I know I'm doing 100, 300, 500, whatever number that is. Hmm. Yeah, I might be, I might, let, let's say 600. Okay. All right. So Jazz is doing $600 at the age of 31. She can retire at 67. All right. So Jazz, what I'm telling you is to keep, keep doing that. Keep doing $600. All right. So let me ask you this one question, Jazz. Without you seeing my screen right now, mm -hmm. if you just keep doing the bare minimum of $600 a month, Mm -hmm. With $100,000 in the investments right now. Yeah. How much money do you think you would have if you kept doing that? Just that. Not nothing else. Not real estate cuz you're going to do real estate. But how much mm -hmm. money do you think you would have at 67 years old? I mean, I'm hoping it's at least, you know, maybe like a a million. I don't know how far that's going to get me by the time I'm 60, but we'll see. You have $6.1 million. Oh, that's very off. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you will invest $259,000 of your own money into this by 67. But your compound interest will pay you five point seven million dollars. If you yeah. do, if you don't change nothing else today, you will have six point one million dollars. Hold on, Jess. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me tell you this. This is this is because you're taking advantage of how do I say this? You're taking advantage of your age and, and, and of the wisdom. I wish I went back to 25, 26 years old. But right, let's say you got six point one million dollars. Let's just say you pull 8% out of that a year. Mm -hmm. Times that by 8%. You're making $488,000 a year. And you've never touched your $6.1 million. Yeah. You can live in 30 yeah. years with no debt off of $400,000 a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But check this out though, Jazz. I didn't say don't get in real estate. I just said, don't yeah. stop doing what you're doing. So if you want to go down to like, you know what? I'm going to stick to that 600. I'm not going to put anything else in there, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, you know, doing real estate. Now, here's my my suggestion to you. If you're making $140,000 a year, times that by 15%, uh, that's $21,000 a year, about that in 12. I want you to be at at least $1,000 investing inside of your, the stock market, bare minimum. Okay. Bare minimum. So let's do that yeah. math. Let's, let's say if you put a thousand dollars in there a month by sixty-seven, you go up to eight million dollars. That's wow. eight million dollars of of your money, and then if you go up now, we're at eight million. Hold up, let me do this math for you. I want you to see what you're getting, okay? And if you pull out just eight percent, I'm being safe here. That's $640,000 a year that your money, the principal of $8 million will pay you $640,000 a year, and you never touch the $8 million. So you can yeah. just pull out the interest, live off of that, and pass that down. You're going to be married by the time you're 67. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have some kids by the time you're 67. You're going to have some grandchildren by the time you're 67, and think about it. This is just money from you sitting there and investing, but this has nothing to do with your real estate. This has nothing yeah. to do with the business that you started. This is just simply using the power of compound interest. Make sense? Makes sense. Can I just add in one little extra thing though? Talk to me. I have this plan to like cut my, my house payments. Well, okay, I won't say have this plan, but I did the calculations on instead of 30 years, how do we get it down to 15 and how much I, love it. I have that? And I want to say it's like my math on that is like six grand every year. Mm -hmm. It's like six grand every year. Might be a little bit more than that yeah. um, for me to cut it down in half. Yeah. Um, should I not be focused on that while, like, would you? I know that's not your situation, but for somebody like me, like, would you say, hey, don't worry about putting the extra money down on the interest for your home, put that into acquiring more so you can, you know, have more passive income. Is this your forever home? Are you going to keep this home forever? 
I'm not going to let go of it, but I'm not going to live here. But you're going to rent it out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, great. And if you, you want to get another home? Yes. I mean, you got two options. I'm not mad with you paying off the home. Uh, but for me, I do like being debt free. That is a goal. And, but mm -hmm. if, if with you being young and you wanting to get into real estate and if you're renting that out, I mean, you have another option. You can let your, your you know, your renters pay that home off for you and put your, you put your funds in another place. But if right. you know you're going to be there for another while, like I have a mortgage on my, on my primary home, I'm going to pay it off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eventually rent it out, but I know over the next, I'm going to be in this home for at least another five to seven years. So yeah. I want to pay it off. And this year, this year, I want to pay it off. So that way I don't have, a, I don't have no debt that I worry about, but I'm going to go out there and get me some other real estate that mm -hmm. will have some debt on it. And I'm going to let my, my renters pay that off. Right. Uh, because I do believe in our community, you know, I know that, that there are people who say, you know, buy real estate cash. And, I, and I, I, man, if I could do it, I would, right? But I think for, for us, it's all about what's the strategy and what's the game plan and how do we plan on doing it? You will yeah. not, I will not say you're crazy for paying off your mortgage. A lot of my friends are doing that and they're called crazy. I mean, well, you can take that money and flip it somewhere else. Here's why I would say pay off your mortgage. It goes towards your net worth. The moment you pay off that house, your net worth is, has just shot up. Now right. you're sitting there at 34, at 35, at 36 years old, no mortgage payment. You're 100% debt free making $140,000, $150,000 a year. And just listening to you, you're going to make more money. You, you are going to go uh, up really? money. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you're, you are going to be in a great position. The chat is blowing up. They're like, yo, I'm just asking, is she single? Asking for a friend. <laughs> and they're not asking for a friend, Jazz. They asking for themselves because they're like, wait a minute. Not only is she beautiful, but she's, but she's smart in the head and she's asking the right questions. But it's yeah. like, now I just showed them the map. They're like, yo, she, she already a millionaire. She gonna have 6 okay. million just sitting inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's put it in perspective. I've never done the numbers on that. I've only done the numbers on the house because that's the thing I'm most invested on, right? Like me investing in my 401k and my investments are kind of like on rotation. So I don't I don't monitor it as much. But yeah. with this being the new investments, like I really figured out my numbers here. So it's just I never did that math. So that's like really helpful to put it in perspective there. No, listen, you're going to do that math and, and I'm going to show you the math on my, when we get off so we can go full screen, but I really want okay. you to see that math. Uh, and I want everyone to see this math because I don't want people thinking I'm lying because I really want you to understand this. This is how wealthy people, Jazz and everyone watching, this is how wealthy people become wealthy. Cause you just said something. I haven't done the math. Mm -hmm. Like I haven't sat down and looked at my future and then worked backwards. I haven't right. sat down and said, hey, well, I've said I want to be a millionaire. I said I want to make a lot of money, but I never sat down and did the work to see what needs to be done. And so now that you know, wait a minute, I can make six, I can have six million sitting in this account and all I got to do is put, you know, 600 in this thing, keep that going. Okay, wait, I'm not stopping that. Let me figure out another way to get into the real estate. Okay, once I'm doing that, let me figure out another way to turn my business into an asset. So now, Jazz, by the time you get 67, you're not just at 6 million, you at 15 million. Yeah. Because you got the strategy and you worked backwards. And Facts. that's what's important. And let me say this too, before I let you go. Um, don't date no Negro. I'm serious now, I'm being honest. Do not date a brother who only sees you as a come up, as someone who is smart and as someone who, who he knows is going to win. I don't think brothers are out there doing that, but there are some, right? And I, I want you to be safe and protect your heart and date a man who's coming with the same energy as you. He may not have 140, 150 right now, but he got that same drive, he got that same vision, he got that same energy, he got that same work ethic. Because if you are in position at six million, oh my God, can you just imagine partnering with a man who got the same vision, who's gonna be awesome getting six million by the time y'all retire? Y'all gonna be worth 20, 25 million. But that's don't God. get a Negro that's going to subtract from you. Now you're only worth two million. <laughs> yeah, we can't go backwards. Yeah, nah.
You know what I'm saying? We, we, we cannot do that. I'm not a relationship expert. God knows I'm still, I'm still looking for my wife, but I know this much, she gonna be an asset to me and I'm gonna be an asset to her. And when we come together, what she was doing on her own, we gonna multiply. When I come together, what I was doing on my own, we gonna multiply and we talking about 25, 30, 40 million of, 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 when it comes to our network because of the strategy. All right? Yeah. So Jax, I love you, sister. I love you. You are amazing. I am just super excited for what you're doing. Uh, man, you keep going, you keep growing. Um, and I'm telling you, any more questions, call in, ask us, get into the real estate. We have a show coming out, I think next Friday, with my real estate people, oh. I want you to watch Ooh. that show and take some okay. notes, all right? Yeah, thank you. All right, let me show y'all this map for, for her too. Uh, oh, shoot. We gotta figure this, we're in our new studio. We gotta figure this thing on out, y'all. We gotta figure this thing, we gotta figure this thing on out. Um, all right, cool, so let me uh, come over here. Come over to, uh, hold on a minute there. Let me uh, pull this thing on up. All right, here we go. We, uh, Jazz is 31. She can retire at 67, all right? So she has $100,000 in there, a 10%, you know, return over the next 36 years. We're seeing that over the, next, over the last 30 years, the S&P 500 has been roughly about 10 to 12%. So I know people like to be conservative and be on the conservative side and only give 10%. And if Jazz was just to keep putting in her $600, She's at, let me sure, yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry. I was about to say the math is wrong. She's 31. I changed that accidentally. All right. She's at $6.1 million. That's $6.1 million. I want you to really pay attention to this number right now. She only put in $359,000, but her math is she got 5.7 with her with the compound interest. This is why I said don't stop investing into into your retirement accounts for real estate. No, your real estate should be a bonus on top of that. But if Jazz just puts in the 15%, which remember, I suggest 15% of the household income. Now, if Jazz was to do the true 15% of, of 140, so 140, I did the math, 140,000 times 15% is 21,000. 21,000 divided that into 12, that's 1750. Now let me just give y'all the math. If she just if she just did what I teach, 15% of your income inside of investments, go back over to the calculator there for me, brother. Um, that is gonna be $1,750 a month. So if Jazz did this now, Jazz, if you could do this, I want you to do it. This is what her net worth will be by the time she turns 67, my God. Almost $11 million. Almost $11 million for her just doing the basic things. So now, now we're looking at $11 million just in the stock market. Now she got multiple real estate properties that's probably going to be paying her about ten dollars to $15,000, $20,000 a month, probably more than that, depending on how, her, how hard she goes. So she got fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month coming from that. And then she got, let's just say this 10, nine, I'm gonna do that. Let me do the math there. At 10, nine times that by, let's say she pulls out 8%. If the interest is paying her 10%, but she pulls out 8%, times that by 8%, she's got $872,000 a year. Hold on a minute, let me, let me break this down for y'all. Divide that into 12, Jazz will have $72,000 a month that she can live off of on top of whatever real estate she's giving. So let's just say Jazz is getting a minimum of an extra $15,000 a month in real estate. That's $87,000, that's a million dollars a year Jazz can play with at 67 and she didn't touch the $10.9 million. This is why I'm begging you all to listen to what I'm saying. If you can eliminate your debt, if you can start putting money into your future, let me go over here to the, to, 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 to the chat. Is this making sense? Is, is this making sense? I need y'all to get out of here talking about jazz is wife material for me. No, listen to what the heck I'm saying. That's the problem with some of y'all. Y'all worried about me, y'all worried about everyone else, but are you worried about you? I'm over here teaching you how to get the money and you over here trying to hook me up. Makes no sense. Makes no sense.
I'm sorry. I ain't want to get frustrated, but I'm looking at the comment section like, wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm going to hold y'all accountable. I'm going to hold y'all accountable. Stop worried about the wrong things. This is common sense that we all can do. And a lot of us watching right now are in our young 30s. You can take advantage of this. You got 30 years to play the game. Let's play it right. And I like Jazz. But this ain't about Jazz finding her amends. It's about Jazz setting up her future right. Listen, we got about, how much more time we got? We got about like 25 more minutes. We're getting off today at 1.30. If you want to give us a call, you can give me a call at anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. And you'll be able to call in and ask us a question. Thank you all for everyone who's giving us a call and having cameras on. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, this is this this is just some good stuff, man. Let me tell you right now, man. Let me tell you right now. I love the fact that my sisters are calling in. We got another sister that's about to come up. Who this is right here, Jay? Vera? Okay, we got we got Vera coming up next. I need more brothers calling in because all these sisters calling in, they're asking the right questions. How I get out of debt? How I build this wealth? How do I invest? Where are my brothers at? You know what I'm saying? All these sisters young and single and beautiful and debt free. Where are my young, single, six foot tall, six pack brothers who looking for a black woman trying to get this bag to give me a call. <laughs> Vera, what's going on, sis? Talk to me. What's going on? How can I help you? Hello everyone, my name is Vera and I'm 17 years old and I've been watching, I've been aware of your channel for I guess, I think last year and I'm a, a someone who's very passionate about financial literacy. I'm an immigrant and um, child of immigrants and I've been here for a while but I've been raised to experience and also understand uh, wealth inequality and it's something that I'm really passionate about helping resolve and so I've been doing my own research, reading books. I also started reading um, Get Good With Money by Tiffany Alice. I've done presentations. Yeah. yeah, I've done, she's also Nigerian. That's cool. I've done um, uh, presentations on financial literacy and done initiatives at school, but I am still learning. And so I'm happy to be in these rooms. And I do have two questions for you. Yeah, talk to me, 17 year old. Where do you live, real quick? New Jersey. New Jersey. And you're with your parents, family, or who, who, who are you yeah. staying with? Parents? Yes. Cool. Yes. Great. Talk to me. What's your question? So, um, how, so I, I know you were talking about high, high yielding savings accounts. Mm -hmm. So how would I find out from my bank if that's what I have? Yeah. So more than likely you do not have a high yielded savings account. So the average bank is not just going to open up a high yield savings account. Okay. You got specifically okay. asked for it because they're just giving away extra money. Most brick and water banks, Vera, do not have, like, they're not going to have high interest rates. So you're going to have to find something online, right, that offers a high yield savings account. Okay. Now you can call your bank because I did that with uh, my business checking account and said, hey, listen, I'm about to take this money out. It's a lot of money on the business savings account. I'm about to go over here. They're offering me 5%. What can you all do, you know, as far as them being my bank? And they, they came up to 4% for me. And I said, all right, cool. It's not really worth me going over there for one more percent. It's right here in my bank. Cool, great. So they offer me a high yield, you know, savings account. So you can ask, but there has to be a lot of money already in it. So at your age, right, depending on, do you have any money in savings right now? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Cool. Great. So I would take that little bit and put it into a SoFi account, put it into a high yield savings account that you do trust. Right. But um, that's what I would do at 16. I would definitely at 17. I would definitely do that. Then I would talk with your parents. If I'm you, I just did the math and I just showed you the math for jazz. As you just saw for like the last young lady. If I'm you, I would ask your parents at 17 to open you up a custodial IRA account right now and then transfer it to you once you turn 18 and you maximize that. That's if I'm you, I'm doing a high yield savings account and I'm doing a custodial IRA right now so I can start investing to my future. Because 
you're already asking the right questions. I can already tell you're graduating at the top of your class. You're going to go off to school. You're going to do your thing, and you're going to make a lot of money. I, I can already tell. As a matter of fact, in the comments right now, let's give this, this beautiful queen some hearts, some loves. Let's show her some mad love in the comment section. Yes. Um, and so if, if you can start maximizing and start investing at 17 and then get your money at 67, easy 15, 20 million dollars. Easy, easy. Thank so you. the higher the savings account, yes, that's what you can touch right now. When it comes to um, investing, if you was my daughter, man, custodial IRA, I'm, I'm getting my mom and dad, and we're running, we're running right now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I no appreciate problem. that. What's your I second? I have another question? question. Yeah. Yeah. So, my mom recently gave me this book, and um, I'm. It's talking about cash value insurance policy life insurance and something that i've never heard of so it's a new concept to me and i'm just wondering if you could if you have any recommendations or have any experience with those and do you trust those and um, do you think that they're worthwhile investing to i know just a little bit about them so i'm learning yeah yeah um you know so my perspective on life insurance and i, I want to respect your mom Right, because she gave you that book, and I want you to read that book seriously. You know, yeah, someone else gave it to her, so we're, okay. we're both learning. We're trying to figure both learning. out. Oh, yeah, cool, great. Uh, I am not a fan of whole life insurance and cash value insurance because those cash value insurance are sold as investment strategies and investment stuff. For me, if I want to invest, I'm going to go to an investment account to invest. Life insurance is literally that. Mm -hmm. It is life insurance. It is insurance for when I lose my life, my family can have it. And so for me, when it comes to life insurance, I'm not trying to get wealthy off of my life insurance policy. I'm trying to get wealthy off of my investments into the stock market, into real estate, into business ideas. Um, and so for me, I am a term life insurance guy to where you can go out at your age, um, as soon as you turn 18, you can go get a, a million dollar, two million dollar policy for 20 bucks at your age. And it will stay that cheap until you hit about 50, 60 years old. Term just simply means that, okay, I'm gonna pay this insurance company for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years, this amount. But when that term is up, if I choose a 10 year term, at the end of that 10 year, I gotta get a new policy and they're gonna give me a rate based upon my age and my health at that time. But term is always gonna be cheaper than whole life insurance because you're getting it for a period of term. So let's say for an example, you have $100 a month you can spend on life insurance, where you're gonna get way more with term life insurance than you will with whole life insurance. People get excited about the whole life and cash value insurance because there's a cash value that you can borrow from that you could take out a loan on. But my thing is this, one, I'm not trying to borrow my life insurance. I'm not trying to borrow any money. And two, if I wanna make investments, I'm just gonna invest into the stock market. But if I want life insurance, I want life insurance. And I wanna get the best bang for my buck. And at your age, and I'm pretty sure at your mom's age, term life insurance will be the best. But continue reading that book. I want you to get the education. I want you to learn, learn things. But also, I really want you to learn everything. Go get a book on term life insurance. And I want you to compare the okay. two and make a good judgment call okay. for yourself. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate no. you. Thank I appreciate you. you. Yo, I love I love getting questions like that from a 17 year old. Man, she gonna be with I mean, where are my brothers at? Can, can we just talk about this, please? <laughs> where in the world are my brothers? I got a 17 year old woman calling up in here. What? Oh my goodness. She I mean, I I'm 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 just excited for my sisters. Can I just be real with you? I am super excited for what I'm seeing with my sisters, with these young ladies, because they are getting the questions. But brothers, y'all just sitting there watching and don't want no help. When I travel and I'm going out and do like conferences and speaking engagements, man, the ladies are in the building, but the brothers are not. Listen, I'm gonna take one more question. Um, okay, I'm, 
I'm going to take one more question after my brother, Sean. Uh, if you want to give us a call, the phone lines are still open, anthonyoneal.com forward slash call AO. Sean is on a mission. Sean said, nah, brother, you ain't about to get rid of me, dog. Nah, nah, nah. You talking about the brothers ain't calling in. Nah, brother, you ain't about nah, I'm about to show you a brother for real. The first time you couldn't hear me. The second time you heard me, but there's an echo. We're going to try this for the third time. And I hope this third time is the best time. Sean, can we hear you, brother? Can we hear you? Yo, can you hear me? Sean, my brother, welcome to the table, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> yo, finally, yo. It's an honor to meet you, yo. Yeah, man. No, it's an honor, man. And thank you for giving us a call, man. What's on your heart, bro? Where, where you calling in from, Sean? I'm calling in from Atlanta. Atlanta, ATL. Cool, great. How old are you, bro? 33. It just turned 33 March 1st. Young brother. Young brother. I love it. And what's your average income um, yearly? Uh, the day job is 43, so I hustle about 15, so a little over, a little about 60, a little under 60. Okay, cool, great. 60K, not bad at all. All right, cool beans. Talk to me, man. What's your question? Uh, the question is, how do you manage time better? Um, mm. I am debt free. I I got uh, about 4,000 in savings right now. I had a little setback, you know, uh, some some dating and everything, but I'm getting that back right this year. God, Wait, you had a setback because of dating? It was bills and everything, so it was, it was a bunch of things. So it wasn't stewarding the time better. And that's why my question came in. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, bro, you mean oh, the ladies? Uh, the ladies was getting you for the money on dating? No. Okay. No. All right. All right. I feel better now. I can calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you good. So yeah, that's the question about steward and time better. Um, and if you got any advice how to get that 10,000 is quicker, because that's my goal is to get to 10,000 before October. Um, All right. It was initially gonna go to the stock market, but I need to put it in savings first. No, hands down, hands down, hands down. Um, yeah. Because I, I think I agree with you. You gotta have a savings account. Do not invest because as soon as you invest, you lock it. Right. And you don't wanna take it out. That's penalties, that's interest you gotta pay. Um, so the very first thing when it comes to time, I budget my time like I budget my money. I literally was just on a, our team call earlier with my team and I told Michelle, I was like, hey Michelle, can you add these to my schedule? Like I literally need to see everything on my schedule. I have drive time to the studio. I have drive time home, walk my dog. Like I literally write down my entire day and I strategically map out my day. I could tell you, you know, I'm gonna be on a flight for three hours. When I land, if I have a call, I know it's gonna take me about 40 minutes to get through TSA. So I mean, I literally do that. So that way I am, I am stewarding my time better. And, and I learned that from actually millionaires. There are millionaires who are like, yo, if it's not on my if it's not on my schedule, if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't get done. So literally, if I know I gotta call my mom, like today is my niece's birthday. I need to call her today. It's on my schedule to call her on my ride home when I leave the studio today at four o'clock. So I'm like, all right, cool, I'm gonna call my little niece. Um, let's check this out. When I am in a relationship, important days, and even just phone calls, hey man, call your girl. Like I put call baby on my <laughs> calendar. In the morning, in the evening. So that way I hold myself accountable and I don't slip up, but I'm stewarding my time well. And it's gonna be so good to when I get married, we're gonna have my schedule, her schedule, bro, and stewarding our time on a refrigerator. So we know exactly what's going on, everyone. So if you really wanna to get to the 10,000, if you really wanna become wealthy, if you really wanna get better, right, better, time is important. Because time is the one thing we can't get back. We can get our money back. back. But yesterday is gone. We can't change what happened yesterday. We can't. So for me, I want to steward my time the best way I can. So I map out my time every single day. And what I do is Sunday night after church, after I get up from my Sunday night nap, I look at, okay, what does my week look like? I, I We get haircuts, bro. <laughs> Straight up. I put that on my schedule. I literally go through the entire month and I'm like, yo, bro, Barbara, I go to I go through his little app thing and I book out all my haircuts for the entire month and I put it inside of my schedule. Because here's what I started noticing. I know I gotta do things, I started forgetting. Mm -hmm. And then it started 
I, oh shoot, I gotta go do this. Then, then it's like I'm all over the place. And then because I gotta go do this, because I forgot to put on my schedule, now I miss out on something else. No, 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 nope, 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 nope. No. So that's what I would highly recommend to you, bro, is it's simple. Utilize your calendar to everyone and put it on there. If you, if, if you gotta feed, cook dinner, put cook dinner on your schedule. Yeah. It, and if you gotta, you know, I'm gonna work a side job, boom, put that on your schedule. You gotta go to work. I'm at work from eight to five. Put that on your schedule. And I promise you, you'll see a huge change in that. And when it comes to getting the, the extra $10,000, bro, I think that that's gonna be a little challenging because you're only making 60 a year. I think it's like, it's going it's just take dedication. I'm when I paid my debt off of forty six thousand, I went up to thirty bar okay. car cash. So getting it back is not as difficult as it was getting it the first time. So I mean, I would well, you already got four thousand in there, so you really only need six thousand. Yeah, and, and you want to have, have you want to have an extra six thousand by October. Yeah, by October I want an extra six. So, so what we have? What month in right? March, up. April, May, June, July. August, September, October. So we got eight months. So yeah, that shouldn't be hard. Six thousand divide that into eight. That's only seven hundred and fifty dollars, bro. Yeah. I think you can do I that. Definitely can do that. Yeah. Definitely can do that. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna stop you. Dating. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I've been I put it on pause. Yeah. <laughs> put it on That's pause. gonna stop. I didn't, start, I didn't even start dating until I was after that. Well, let me let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. Cause I think I think I just said that wrong. Let me apologize. Dating the wrong one will stop you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you date the right one and say, hey, listen, my vision is I want $10,000 inside my savings account by the end of this year. I think that should be sexy as heck to a woman. <laughs> it should be. This man is trying to be a financially good steward with his own money. Right. And if a woman comes and says, well, you ain't got 10000 I don't. Do you? <laughs> right. That's you know what right. I'm saying? Like, 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 like right. if she come in and like, ugh, I mean, I mean, we, we got to go to Ruby Tuesday. We got to go to Cheesecake Factory. We do. Let her go, bro. Let her go. Because the right one, when she gets married, she's going to sleep better because y'all got money in the savings account. You all are investing and you have no debt. I think, I'm not going to say that. Go, go I just, ahead, sir. No, nah, no, nah, bro. I don't want to say that. I just want to tell you, Sean, do not allow dating because when we see that beautiful woman who we want, we tend to put aside the priorities to impress that woman. And it, oftentimes we are overlooked. We, we are frowned upon by the woman because and they don't even understand it. Yo, I set aside things for you. And man, I'm telling you right now, when I stopped doing that, man, I had so much peace in my life. And watch this. I kept more money. For sure. So I think you can easily get to 10000 by the end of the year, man, by, by October. That's only $750 a month. I think you, you can aggressively get there, but I, I definitely want to make sure that I retract what I said. Date, you're young, man. Get, get you, a, get you, a, get you a, a beautiful woman. Get you a good sister, uh, because I do believe that we obtain favor from the Lord when we find the one. And I think the one could even help you get to the $10,000 quicker. That was, that was right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll be like, oh, babe, I got you. Like, I'm going to hold you accountable. We're going to pray for this. We're going to work this thing together. Right, yeah. That's you know? And so the right one can definitely come and do that thing, man. So I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Appreciate that. Before I, before you let me go, uh, yeah. what book are you reading right now? So what book am I reading right now? Honestly, I'm not reading a book because I'm writing a book. <laughs> okay. And so right now, I've really been focused on uh, just trying to get myself situated. Uh, so I'm really, I'm at the point to where it's like now, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to write more content. And so this month and last month, um, I have really been focused on just writing more content for you all. I'll pick back up reading uh, next month. But a book that I would definitely recommend for you, for you, um, is, uh, what say it in my ear, you guys? What was the book of the month last month? My boy Ollie's book. Yes, do good productivity. So you were talking about how to be more productive with your time. Do good productivity is is a real good book that I did read in January. It's phenomenal. One, one of my good friends, Ollie, um, who was an amazing YouTuber, has like five million YouTube uh, subscribers. That's a great book, bro. That would really teach you how to be productive uh, with your life and with your day. So that's the book that I would recommend for you right now. Thank you, sir. No problem at all, man. Praying for you, bro. 
Yo, you guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. If you really want to get there, here's what I'm hearing from everyone who called in. Some of you don't know the math. You don't know how to get to where you want to go. And I don't really, I don't really think you all know where you want to go. I don't think you want, I don't think you know where you want to go. I need you to go to my website. If you got debt, go to anthonyoneal.com. And I need you to go to my website and calculate how quick you can get out of debt. How quick? Number two, I need you to go to my website and calculate how much wealth you can have if you start investing. Start playing around with the numbers. Add in your, subscript, your subscriptions that you're going to take out. Add them in. Number three, some of you all do need extra income. You need to, you need a career change. Check out my friends over at Yellowtail. There has to be a strategy. We can't just wake up and just be, oh, I'm gonna do this today. Oh, I'm gonna have a million. I love my sister Jazz, but I asked Jazz, I said, hey Jazz, if you do this, how much money do you think you have? She said a million. And I knew she was going to be extremely low because the average person doesn't take the time to do the research to figure out what is the true potential of myself. What can I do? If I do this, where would this take me? I need you today. I need you to today take 30 minutes, go to my website, look at some articles, Go play around with the cal calculators and see where you could be within the next year, within the next five years, within the next 10 years, and where you could be at the time of retirement. And I hate saying retire because at 67, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing, but I do want to be in a position to where I don't have to do what I'm doing. Actually, I'm trying to put myself in that position by the time I turn 55. I got 15 years to do this. So I'm begging you. This Wednesdays are for you. It's about building your table. Thank you to everyone who called in. Thank you. Thank you so much for trusting me, for trusting, trusting this platform, for me to give you the proper wisdom, the proper guidance, and I hope that you all are enjoying this. And if you all are, y'all, can we do me a favor? We're at 294 thumbs up. Can we hit the thumbs up before we leave? Can we get to 300? Can we get to 300? And if you haven't subscribed to this, to this movement, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that bell button. I want you to join the family. I want you to be a part of the E3 community where we are expanding in, in, in wellness, where we're expanding in abundance, and we are expanding in um, 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 freedom. That's what we're all about. And I wanna help as many, as, as many of you as I possibly can experience financial freedom. I'm trying to think, should I say this? I think I can leak it a little bit. I'm going to leak it to y'all for watching me live. Next month, we're giving away $30,000. You heard me right. Next month, we're giving away about twenty-five. Yeah, about $25,000. Yeah, $25,000. We're giving away vacations. We're giving away $1,000 for you to invest what we are giving it away. You gotta be a part of the E3 community to get that money though. Simply, you just gotta hit that subscribe button. April 1, we're gonna announce the giveaway and how you could be a part of this giveaway. April is the Financial Literacy Month. And my team and I have a huge campaign of where we are gonna be giving you all of the proper information next month on how to do the things financially, the proper literacy when it comes to our finances. And to celebrate Financial Literacy Month, we wanna send you in a bay, whether that's bay as in 
girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, or it can just be like, you're going to be the bae, you're going to be the bro on this trip. <laughs> and we're going to send you away to a nice little island with some water for this summer. And you can have a good time. But you and bae can go on a vacation with us. But you got to be a part of the community. You, you got to be a part of this community. So do me a huge favor. I got to go. My phone is ringing. I need you to hit that thumbs up button for me if you enjoyed today's show. If you didn't, I respect it. Thank you so much for watching. But if you did, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on podcast, join the E3 community and we'll see you on the next show. Peace out. Yo, what's up, family? My name is Benjamin J. King, a.k.a. B.K. Listen, ICS has been the place for me to grow. It's been the place for me to succeed. The craziest part is, is that I've gone from 3,000 to 11,000 followers in just two weeks while being in the program. Listen to me. You get tools, and you know anything with AO is amazing and spectacular. 
So family, I'm pretty sure you're here off of his credibility, which is the reason I joined. So I'm telling you, you're going to get so much insight on how to be successful. Literally, you can go out here and impact this world and change your life at the same time. So if I was you, ICS would be my next commitment to my future and to yours. World changer, history maker, world changer, history maker. We gon' make some history tonight. We gon' make some history tonight. Straight up, We gon' make some history tonight. We gon' make some history tonight. Yeah, we be going in all night. Yeah, everything is all alright, yeah